Next, early uh, reading page green line of south into the transition area. Now the water is one of our worst big boys. Let's see how he can run. He's an unknown quantity. We know that Max and Patty, they're going to take it out fairly seriously on the promenade. It'll be a very good event between these two. Let's see what happens. And let's see if this uh, young fellow from West Beach can run. Now I reckon we would have, we've got Aiden Lock over the line. So there's the, the winner of our short course event. He's been greeted by his mother, Riney. Well done, Aiden. And looking down the top there, let's see if I can see who's going to be coming in second. Aiden had a big lead in the swim. Don't work it long now before we see Aiden. In the longer events, once he has the cover from your being, he's a very strong swimmer. He's been around multiple for quite some time.
and also got Matt and Patty Goodman. So we've got Jeff Cheney, Lucy Sterling, Amy Stephen leading the gold, silver and bronze in the state championship for under 18 and 16. And then we've got Patrick Goodman and Matt Sterling and an athlete from West Beach duking it out for gold, silver and bronze in the under 18 championship of Australia for Aquathon. Now we've got our athletes back in, Charlotte Dervishir and another athlete in the water for their second win. So these guys are going to through twice. So they'll come in and do one more run and then that will be it. So Emily Stephen and you know, quite pick up Marlon as well, you know. transition. Yeah. Good to see you, Back in transition, I'm just saying to our fear of friend, we haven't seen ever and ever. Just had a chat to him. Now back in transition, back out of transition, back down to the water. We've got Max Sperling running just ahead, probably 15 metres now, or Paddy Goodwin. Got Paddy having a chat to his goggles and his cat. And Max has got the high knees going, one guy and two guys and he's back in the water. Stroking now, Paddy chasing. Very good on coming up, they're very even. Thank you Malcolm, I'm standing down here next to the hero of the day. Thank you in a quick hug. Paddy May, Malcolm, put this event on for a decade now. I'm going to be here all the pioneer of multi-sport in South Australia, which is Dave Malcolm. Oh, definitely, Mike. He was uh, one of the first with his partner at the time, Dave Williams, and uh, together they formed the Endurance Sports Promotions and brought some of the first well-organised triathlons to South Australia. Uh, so together with Triathlonic Day, they were responsible for advancing the sport in the 80s. So it was a really big loss for the family's good. Uh, good news to do. Exactly. Now, you have... I'll let everybody know that, that Malcolm Robertson has picked it up from the loss of Sam White. Dave moved into state and he's still oh, in quite a bit and he's still in the sport. Um, he's a wholesaler of uh, multi-sport products. And that Malcolm has held this race together for decades now and Thank you very much. I absolutely love the run swim run format. Although I enjoy biking, um, I would have to say that this is my favourite format, the run swim run format. And we have Charlotte Dervish here in the red outfit, green hat, back up on the beach. Big lead, uh, we would expect that. And I'm going to try and pick up who's in second because second is fairly impressive to be keeping up with this young lady. It's one of the main skills. Wow, she's doing a really good job. Absolutely flying. Look out, Malcolm. Go, Charlotte! Go, Charlotte! So, back in the water. We've got Max, Paddy Goodman. Looks like our boy from West Beach is just getting down there now. Max and Paddy Goodman, they've gone around both cans and they're heading back into the team now. Not sure where Pat is. You can see Max long loping stroke. It's only going to be a matter of a few metres before he stands up. Now we're going to sit back in the transition very shortly. There's a uh, there's uh Charlotte she picked up her shoes, she's heading out, she has a massive lead. This is our second place, Bain 
in Tutan Burnside, the Canadian port. So our safety and ship for under 16 and under 18, if you haven't seen the back yet, our leader was Jeff Heaney. Uh, Captain was, I uh, couldn't really pick between uh, Amy Stephen and Jeff Heaney. Here comes Emily Stephen, but she's been caught by uh, the interstate defender. I can't really pick up that outfit. And so we've got Emily and another competitor from the state in third position. Now there's many age groups racing here at the moment for uh, state of track on the championship. Good job, Sam. And we've got Max back in the field. He's got a big leg. Oh, dear. Yeah. Okay, so Max is back in the transition. I didn't know where he was, but we lost Patty. So nothing's gone wrong with Pat. But it's dropped off considerably now. So Max is back. In the transition, picking up his shoes with the ATC gear on. So Sterling, ATC sponsors, and that's the Atlanta Triathlon Club. Uh, they help out two athletes each year. Uh, one is Max, and the other one is Fern Davis. Fern is one of our female athletes today. She is racing in the pro event at one o'clock. We are very, very interested to see how she goes. Mandy Towler is racing in the pro event. Congratulations, Mandy. Mandy has been racing very well this summer. Here's Paddy Goodwin back in. He's in our second position in the championship of South Australia for under 18. Mandy Towler. And I'm sure Jackie Staples will turn up with about five minutes to go. As she normally does, if you hold up, Jackie. Yes, I hold up. I walk from the car to here. Go, Kiana. Right, she's back. Have you been doing any swimming, Jackie? No. I haven't been running. No. I just like the event. So we'll see what sort of force she turns up here today. Jess is back. She's done 1.7 on the promenade. This is the race for the champion of South Australia. Oh, here's Amy Stevens back too. Have a great time, Amy. Wow, okay, so it's back close. We've got Jess Keeney running down the long side of the field. Oh, there's Lucy Sperling. They caught Jess Keeney. Right behind the field. Oh, can you see Lucy stuck under the radar? Amy Stevens, so there you go. They caught Jess. Jess had a massive lead out of the first spin. Now they've all pulled back together. That's an exciting race. It's why we've got something doesn't go wrong. It looks like Max will have the race shot to pieces. And let's see what happens in the girls' event here. Now, this will turn into who's going to be the toughest. They're all going through three times. They've done a swim, they've done a run. Now they're back in the water. The second swim. Better keep the bottom down. Get a little bit excited with this place like that. Then we've got the bowls of the athletes that have been out on their second run. Peter Goodwin making his way down to the water. All these brilliant athletes in West Beach to support this event each year. Thank you, West Beach Surf Life Saving Club, coming down and supporting the event. We'll be looking out to see now. I'm looking for Amy Steves and Jeff Heaney and Lucy Sterling. I know he's going to dominate the water. Jeff Heaney, he's as good as anybody in the country. Uh, she recently raced in Canberra. Well, and she came out with the junior girl. So that's going to set the very high standard for South Australian swimming. And we've spoke about our current South Australian aquathlon champion. And his name is Jack Keeney. Hey, there you go. Keeney's a very well known here today. Let's game to you on portrait. All of us. All right, we'll do one than the other. Two boys or one will be anyway, and that's Jack Keeney. We're getting the two boys in our front. We're two laying out of the water. Look at a field earlier. One of our people is winners of the event. And it's all these athletes behind you, making you guys really good. One of our people is two boys. Now back in the water. Yeah, that's a good one. 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 Yeah, that
Sarah. Oh. Pick up. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, Goodwin, Scott Goodwin was second in the media event, and the winner of the media event today was Dan Beardy. Sorry about that, Dan, you were so far ahead, I thought you were in another boat. So sorry about that, mate. But Dan Beardy was the victor on the media before.
get that soft sand. And you're running on the high, you come back into the soft. Go to concrete strike, I'm going to take you down. What am I going to do next? I'm going to pick up my shoes, I'm going to pick up my goggles. What have I forgotten? I've got everything. There he is. Paddy Goodman. So it's like I've missed Max over the line. Yes, sorry about that, Max. Max Stewart is in us today. The under 18 in South Australia, the front line, championship. For the men. In a time of 32 14. Congratulations, Max Burley. Here's Amy, Amy's our second competitor for the under 18 girls. This is Curly is racing the under 16 girls. Now they're off on the promenade. So we've got just Kitty getting down. Mike, Mike Clark. Bill Lane. 
Bariaski, Angelo Cagliari, Mike Sotto,
sure we have some wind on the top right now, but it looks like we're going to have a relatively flat water swing for the the Prolob end today. I keep calling it the Prolob end. That's because they're going to get money if they do well. I think um, the race director has came down to this today, and that'll be fifty in the girls and fifty in the boys. And it's not often that we get a flat water swim down here at Brunel. We usually have the Brunel doctor blowing in around about now. The next to me is the race director. He's got a pan in the window. It looks like he needs something. I'm always thinking about the rock. Thanks, Mike. Sorry to interrupt, folks. We're eight minutes away from the start of the kids' fun run. So any kids who are here for the fun run, your start is between the Bay Sports Festival Feather Banners up here, which is the start of the Enduro Run course as well. So if you meet me there at that path, I'll get you briefed and we'll get you underway at 12.30. Now, competitors who have finished, please be mindful that some of our toughest competitors, the older people in the event are still racing. So I know Val Lambert's still out there, uh, halfway through her final swim. So please keep the paths clear so that these last competitors have a clear run. And the countdown is on now to the feature race for today, the Elite Course Race which will start promptly at 1. So Elite, your briefing will commence as soon as the kids' fun run has started and your briefing will be on the beach. So let's have you on the beach at 12.35 for your briefing. Thank you.
love of just being given the information to put those in canola in here. And he's going to be racing. We'll be looking forward to that.
Asian recently back from Cambridge, see how things moved out of the water and uh, we talked to camera 12. And he's wearing the number five today. Okay. And we'll go to Lachlan. Did I miss anybody? Ashley, Louie, Isaac, and Oscar. And Lachlan. Yeah, we'll just see what happens in the water today and glad. 